Hey, what is going on guys? It's Little Bigness here, and I'm here to bring you our UBC Season 3 Week 5 Team Builder. We're going up against uh, Elias, the coach of the Helsinki High Dragons. He is a new replacement coach for uh, Kahona, who sadly passed away. Uh, Kahona will be remembered, but uh, anyway, the battle must go on. Uh, you can see his team right below me. He's got Jirachi, Megaltaria, Suicune, Feraligator, Kieran Black, Crobat, Embora, Gligar, Weezing, Lantern, Rotomo. First thing I noticed, so many threats, not enough checks. And that really kind of gets to me, honestly. Uh, I don't really have enough to be able to check all the mods on his team. So I, this team is really weak compared to his. I think his matchup's way better than mine. Uh, but of course, I'm going to go in and think that I can do my best and just go ahead and battle because that's what I do. But yeah, it's really scary. You know, I, I feel like I've accommodated for a lot, but for Alligator and Embor are especially huge issues after all of my prep. They're the biggest threats to my team when it comes to being in the battle. It originally was Karen Black, but I feel like I built proper checks. Uh, and then Jirachi can always suck because that thing can just flinch you to death. But anyway, we're going to get right into the team. Uh, we've got George Bush or Akaberry, Ferrothorn. Uh, it's got Leech Seed, Gyro Ball, uh, Power Whip, and Spikes. I want to Spike Stack this week because that's one of my only hopes that he doesn't bring Crobat and Gligar and I can Spike Stack. Because I feel like that can do a lot of damage to his team and I've got other stuff that can clean up later and I'm kind of looking at that. But then Gyro Ball is, uh, it, it hits a lot of things, you know. This set kind of gets walled by Jirachi, but I can Leech Seed that. But then Power Whip, it hits the Suicune and the Feraligator. Gyro Ball hits things like Kiram Black, uh, Mega Altaria, Crobat, stuff like that, yeah. Uh, but this is mainly built as a check to Kiram Black. It, uh, it gets three hit KO'd by an Ice Beam from Kiram Black if it's a Life Orb set with max special attack and a beneficial nature. Uh, and, and a life orb. Uh, then Akaberry helps me in case it has hidden power fire. Uh, the 56 in defense is kind of just there. And I, I was able to run it. So I figured I may as well to try and check things like Jirachi better. Because this is also my Jirachi check too. Uh, but yeah, this is mainly built as a Kieran Black check. Hopefully get some spikes up. Next we got Pringles or Jealous. And I'm telling you guys, Embor is such an issue to this team. And I thought it was a bigger issue than Feraligator. So I had to build this as more of an Embor check than a Feraligator check. I went around a Colberberry so I could check a DD Feraligator pretty reliably. But uh, I decided to run the Wakanberry so I can take the Wild Charge from an Embor and that can Scald it. And it's got Taunt, Scald, Will Wisp, and Recover. Uh, taunt, I can Taunt things like possibly a Weezing. Uh, it was kind of just something I put there. It, this is also my hard Suicune check because it can't take anything. Uh, you know, Suicune doesn't do anything to this thing. Uh, then, I, yeah, I can taunt that. Then Scald is to hit things like uh, Embor and just kind of fire off because Scald's so spammable. Will Wisp, I'd love to burn a lot of things on the team because I need to cripple them, recover for the recovery. And then we have Super Sanic, our Raikou. It's got the Choice Scarf, Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Shadow Ball, and Hidden Power Ice. This speed investment, uh, what is the speed investment for? Shit. Uh, oh, no, I know what the speed investment's for. This speed investment allows me to outspeed a plus two for alligator if it's adamant. If it's a uh, jolly for alligator, I can't outspeed it even with max speed and a choice scarf. So this was kind of the speed I went for. Because I want this to be able to revenge the for alligator. This is actually... The weirdest of Feraligator uh, answers in my mind, but it, it's what I have to do. And uh, luckily, if he doesn't bring Gligar, I can Volt Switch over the entire team, except for Lantern. That's actually there, and that hard walls this set, but I need to bring it just for that Feraligator. It sucks, but uh, I've also got Hidden Power Ice in case I need to hit the Gligar at least. I, I had to, though, just because that Feraligator, I can't let it sweep me. So next we have Kylo, our Lucario, and it has a choice band. I'm running a choice banded Lucario this this week because if I can get those spikes up and I can weaken the team just a little bit, I can E-speed away. That's the goal with that. I can also fire off huge close combats 
and huge iron tails in case I need to. Or an ice punch if I want to hit something like Crobat. Uh, Mega Altari if I'm worried about missing an iron tail. Gligar. You know, so it, Rotom Mo. I've got stuff to hit with the uh, Lucario for sure on the ice punch. But close combat, iron tail. Iron Tail is mainly just there for the Kieran Black. Or, or not really even the Kieran Black because I can hit that with a close combat. But mainly the Mega Altaria. Uh, then close combat hits so many things so hard. Just not the Crobat, the Crobat, Gligar, and Weezing. Otherwise, you know, they're easily getting to it KO'd. So. Next we have Taj, our Dawn fan. I'm packing a Custat Barry. I've gotten some speed investment though. And that's speed investment so I can outspeed a no speed lantern and hit that thing with an earthquake. I want this thing to set up rocks. I've got Ice Shard just in case I need to pick off the Crobat or the Gligar. Uh, spin is always helpful to have. But I'm really running that Custat because I figured if I can have the Custat Barry and I can uh, get a last hit off at any given time, that could help me tremendously because Every little bit of damage will help. And I didn't really see Leftovers fitting in too well because I don't really need Dawn Fan to stay around. Uh, so I, I decided Custap would be a good go. And finally, we have JJ Arladios. And it is a Colberberry Calm Mindset. Uh, basically, if there's no Scarf Jirachi and, uh, you know, for Alligators not boosted, no Scarf Cure in Black, I sweep with this thing. Uh, Mega Altari I'll have to weaken a little bit, but other than that, yeah, I can basically sweep with this thing if I set up a Calm Mine. And that's the goal with that, so uh, that's it for the team preview, and I'll see you guys when we get to the battle. Alright, we are back here, we are ready to battle, we're going up against Elias. Alright, let's just get right into it. I predicted four things on his team, right? Uh... One thing I missed was the Embor. Oh my god, he didn't bring Embor. Oh my god, he did not bring the Embor. That's huge. Alright, Weezing. Weezing's an issue for a couple of things. And then no Mega Altaria. Oh, I, I missed three things because he didn't bring Kiram Black either. Oh my god. Alright, so then he brought Crobat. I'm sad he brought Crobat and Gligar, honestly. I don't know why he brought two poison types when I have a reliable steel and uh, Latios, but hey. And then, what's the last one? Uh, no Altaria, I brought Gligar instead. Alright. I'm kind of in disbelief by that. But whatever. Uh, what do I lead with? I uh, I can't exactly lead Raikou and be safe. I don't want to lead Dawn Fan. I think I'm going to lead Pharaoh. Alright, he leads Lantern. I'm happy about that. Uh, I think this is a free leech seed for me. Because he's, he's probably going to go Weezing. And uh, if not, he's going Crobat or Gligar. Because he could go Jirachi too, actually. But yeah, I, I, I don't see him staying in here. Which is good for me. But, you know. I don't feel like Lantern was the best lead. I could be proven wrong. This could be a uh, a crazy Lantern set that I don't know of. Yeah, I think he should have brought Embor. Embor destroyed my team. I got a Life Orb set with Flare Blitz, Wild Charge, Super Power, and Sucker Punch. He didn't even need Super Power, honestly. He could have run some other move. I guess for Volt Switch, predicted that. I'm just going to click Leech Seed. That's what I did because uh, I thought I'd go out and it's always good to get a Leech Seed on something to pressure something out. All 
Alright, he has Gligar. That's nice. It's kind of cute. Uh, I'm not expecting this Gligar to have anything crazy. But I don't really want to switch out because I don't want to take a Toxic on my Jellicent yet. Sure, run Colbert Jellicent though because the for Alligator. Ah! Uh, You know what? Uh, I'll just go for Gyro Ball, I guess. I really don't see my other play. Actually, does Latios sweep? Yeah, Latios is really well. If that's a, uh, if that's not a Scarf Jirachi, but he does have a Rocker since he brought Gligar. Not really sure what his play is going to be. I, I'm, I'm assuming rocks. Uh, because he has no real reason to switch out. I have no real reason to switch out either, though. At least not yet. When he wants to start roost stalling me, uh, then, yeah, I'm definitely switching out. But I saw that Skype open. Damn. How much would this Pharaoh do to a defensive Gligar? Let me just check. I got my George Bush against Gligar. Gyro Ball doesn't do anything at all. This is 20%. I can gauge the set, though, and see if it's a defensive set, the standard defensive set or not. That's kind of what the plan's going to be with this one. All right, he goes Weezing. I know he's got Flamethrower. That's obvious. And he's got the Rocky Helmet. That's good to know. I... See, I could get something like uh, Raikou here, but then I have to watch out for the Lantern. I can make a smart double with that Lantern, though, of course. Uh, could also go Latios and really pressure it. And I could click Shadow Ball on the incoming Jirachi, because that's his only switching. He might Willow, though, and I don't really want to take a Willow yet, so... I guess Latios would be the best Pokemon to Willow, but... I think Raikou is actually a better play. I'm going to go for that. I'm sensing the Willow coming out. Uh, he could Flamethrower too. And I would have liked to go Latios, but I don't want it getting burned because I want to see it as a win condition. Are right, you guys for Taunt. That's a fair play too. Alright, well the Shadow Ball should do a lot. Uh... If he wants to get a lantern, that's fine. Then I'm weakening it. Yeah, all right. Yeah, this lantern's got to be spadef after that calc. I'm I, I'm gonna calc this like seriously. That's got to be a spadef lantern. I. Uh, how much did that do? Fourteen percent. That might be an AV lantern. Holy shit. Yeah, that's an AV Lantern. It's honestly kind of good to know, though. Because that means uh, it can't rest or anything, which is really nice. I gotta watch out for a potential wish on Jirachi, but other than that, I'm pretty good here. Uh, as for my play, I think I could go out to Pharaoh again. In fact, I think I will do that. He's saying a bunch of things with Leech Seed is going to be good. And this Lantern could have Hidden Power Fire for all I know. His uh, Jirachi, I'm assuming, will probably have Fire Punch as well. Weezing has Flamethrower. I, I can't see him bringing a team without Fire Coverage. And if anything, I see Weezing with Flamethrower, Jirachi with Fire Punch, and Lantern with Hidden Power Fire. There's no way that nothing is going to have a Fire move. So, I know we using a Jirachi will, but uh, Lantern's kind of the one I'm iffy about. I'm, I'm assuming Scald, Ice Beam, Volt Switch, Hidden Power Fire, though. Alright, I guess for another Volt Switch. Alright, I feel like he might go Weezing again.
If he goes Weezing, that's fine, though. It's a really interesting Lantern set, though. See, I'd like to get the Gligar out, but I'm not really sure how to bait that in. Or the Crobat. Because I'm assuming that one of those has Defog. I'm not sure which one. I know Bandit Crobat can do a good number to my team, though. That'd be a good reason to keep Raikou healthy, because it is my Scarf Root, too. But the only way I'm really sweeping with Thunderbolt is if I get the Lantern and the Gligar out of here, which is going to be difficult to do. So. He's probably wondering what to go out into. He, I feel like he might go out to Jirachi to try and reveal the Fire Punch. And if he does that, I'm going to go right into Jellicent. Alright, he goes Weezing. Uh... I actually want to go Latios here and be really aggressive, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, he goes for the Willow. I'm fine with that, honestly. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's not the worst. So, I could Calm Mind here, or I could Shadow Ball, because I know that the Jirachi is probably coming in, and this Weezing definitely won't want to stay in. So, uh, because of that, I'm actually going for the Shadow Ball, predicting the Jirachi to come in. Because he could bring in Lantern, but it's not like the Lantern can touch me. So, I'm predicting the Jirachi to come in, and it, that's just what I'm going to go for. Uh, I'd like to get some good damage off on this Jirachi. My Colberberry is pretty useless, though, unfortunately. I guess I could use it for, like, a Feraligator Crunch. But other than that, I can't really use it. Alright, he goes Lantern. Damn it. That's fine, though. He's probably going to Ice Beam. I could Calm Mine. I don't really see that as the best play, though. Because that Jirachi is still scary. But I am weakening the Lantern at the same time, which helps my Raikou a lot. So, I think I'm actually just going to go for a Dragon Pulse on this Lantern. Weakening this as much as possible is really important. I will probably take a lot of damage on my Latios in the process, but I think this is worth it. Actually, I could go Pharaoh. I could go Pharaoh again. He could Volt Switch, and I know that, but... I could also go Raikou. Hmm. This is actually a tougher play than I expected. Uh, yeah, I think I'll go Pharaoh. I guess for Ice Beam. And I get Frozen. Cool game. Cool fucking game. Alright, well I have to burn a turn of Freeze. I'm just going to click Leech Seed, I guess. I'm guessing there's going to be a Hidden Power Fire on this. He's saying he's sorry in the chat. I remember hearing something from Michael. It, you guys will probably know him as a coach on the UPA. Uh, if you ever watch my UPA battles. I, I've bound Michael a few times. So, uh, But he said one time that Freeze was like the worst thing. Because it's literally a status for hacks. And that's so true. It's made for hacks. It's only slapped on to ice moves. For like a 10% or... You know, so very little chance to freeze, and that's all freeze hacks it's ever that's all freeze is ever made for. The status is dumb. Okay? <laughs> if they made a move that was like 50% accuracy that could freeze people, I'd see it as more understandable. That would also buff ice types. I'd be fine with that. Like make a hypnosis for ice types. I'd be fine with that. But <laughs> freeze hacks is the worst. <laughs> It's literally a status for hacks. It's so annoying. Oh, well. It's part of the game. It's the worst part of the game, but whatever. I 
I want to see that hidden power fire on the lantern. I know it's there. And I'm fine with it because I can tank that up. Hidden power fire from lantern shouldn't do anything. Yeah, the volt switch comes out. Fire on thaw right away. Or, you know, thaw right away. I, I always say unthaw, it's whatever. But yeah, if I thaw out right away, it's going to be good for me. Alright. Frozen. He's probably going to go for a flamethrower. Let's be real. Can I outspeed the Weezing? No, I definitely can't. Or, I speed tie with the Weezing, I believe. With my Jellicent. Well, I'm just going to stay in, honestly. Uh, guess I'll go for Leech Seed. I do thaw out. Nice. Okay. I get some health off the Weezing. I'm lucky I thawed out so early. But yeah, I'm going to go Jellicent now. Yes, he could make a switch, but he could also stay in and try and flamethrower again. And I kind of want to keep this Ferrothorn around. In fact, the Leech Seeds can weaken a lot of the team. And Jellicent's just a good bet. That's a brilliant Lantern set, though, I gotta be honest. I expected Lantern to come. I was thinking, like, a Rest Talk Lantern, possibly. Or just kind of, like, you know, something like that, but... AV Lantern. I like it. I'm actually a fan of it. Like, it's a cool set. This is what the League format does. Alright, this is good. This is fine. I like this. I like they went to Jirachi. He wanted to reveal that Fire Punch. Or he wanted me to go out into, uh, Latios. Either way, that's fine. I'm clicking Willow. If he has Thunder Punch, that's fine. Because I do have the Wakan Berry. I'm running three berries this week. I, I, I've run two before, I believe, but I've never run three. I, I felt like I needed to just to check everything. Cobra Berry on the Latios is useless, though. So, like The Cobra Berry was there because if I set up and the Embor wanted to Sucker Punch me, then I could get back to full with Roost, and then he would Sucker Punch me. I would eat the Cobra, and then I would just annihilate it. That was kind of the plan with that. I feel like I forgot to say that in my team preview, but it's no big deal. You know now. By the way, how about that generic Jirachi nickname? Everyone's using Versace. I feel like I have some generic nicknames sometimes. Like, I feel like Pringles is a bit generic, but... Uh, JJ is a bit generic. I guess Taj is too. Kylo's cool, though. George Bush is cool. Super Sanic's cool. What else do I have on my team? Uh, Kamikaze's kind of cliche. Or not really cliche, but standard. Alright, he goes Crobat. That's wonderful. I burn the Crobat. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I uh, kind of just want to go for a Scald. I really have no reason to switch out, so I'm just going to do it. I'm pretty sure that Jirachi is a Scar set, though. Just do the way he doubled. Because he doubled into the Jirachi, probably predicting my Latios. And he wanted to U-turn on that, or Iron Head potentially, and just take it out, you know. Because it's a huge threat to his team. I can see that. But no, I'm not going to let him do that. Maybe getting rocks up soon would be a good idea. Alright, he's nasty plot, Crobat. Oh my lord. Alright, well, I'm gonna taunt him so he can't roost me. Or, like, roost all over me, you know? He's got the Shadow Ball. Alright. Well, I think I need this Crobat to take me out. Jellicent's nice, but... I don't know, what do I... What do I do with this Jellison at this point? I mean, I do check the Jirachi really well. I can't really check the Feraligator. So... I don't want to, but I think I have to. So I'm going to let the Jellison go down. 
All right, well, Raikou can come into business. I could click Shadow Ball on that. I always forget about Plot Crobat, though. I could Ice Shard with my Dawn Fan as well. I would just take it out. But yeah, I think we can go Raikou and click Shadow Ball. That might not be the best play, but... Yeah, let's just click Shadow Ball. That is an another brilliant set. Uh, I've seen Nasty Plot Crobat a couple times before, but I definitely didn't expect it there. That was a great set to bring. It did a number to my team now that I look at it. Maybe if I brought AV Raikou, it would be a bit different, but I didn't bring AV Raikou. I brought Choice Scarf. So, yeah. That's two brilliant sets in one battle. I love to see brilliant sets like this. AV Lantern. I didn't expect Nasty Plot Crobat at all. It's always brilliant whenever Nasty Plot Crobat works. <sighs> now watch it be like a rain dance for Alligator. <laughs> Into Thunder on Lantern. <laughs> I'm just playing now. Yeah, his switching's basically just Lantern at this point. But when it comes to the Lantern, I'm weakening that. So, Shadow Ball. I kind of just want to click Shadow Ball again. Do I? He would know easily what to Volt Switch into, so... He's definitely saving that Crobat uh, for Death Fodder. What does Shadow Balling gain me? Lantern can't touch me. I'll weaken it a little bit more. It's not like you can rest up. Uh, if he wants to hard out the Jirachi or something, then that's fine. But yeah, I'm just going to Shadow Ball. Alright, Spideff drop. He goes for Scald. That's fine. But he burns. Oh well. Uh, that kind of ruins my plans to sweep with that. I really have to sweep Lucario at this point. I gotta find a way to weaken that Jirachi though. Uh, I'm just gonna click Shadow Ball again. I don't see a reason not to. Yeah, Jirachi is a huge threat at this point though. But I do have Custap on Dawn Fan in case I need it. Alright, he brings in Gligar. Uh, Gligar is kind of just free recovery for my Ferrothorn, so I'm going to bring in my Ferrothorn here. I'm glad I weakened that Lantern a good bit, though. That burn hurts, though. I'd like to start setting up some spikes. I, I feel like that would be a good idea to do soon. Alright, he goes Lantern on the double. Nice play. Uh, I think we're going to Leech Seed, though. He did have the HP Fire. I knew that was coming at some point. But yeah, I'm fine with that. Uh, I could go into Dawn Fan and hope he doesn't have speed. Or I could go into Lucario. I think Lucario might be a good play. See, what I'm thinking is I could go Lucario and then double out into Latios. No, I'll go Don Fan. That could be a good play. Right? If I get Scald burned, I swear. Or if he has speed investment. But yeah, I'm going to go Dawn Fan and click Earthquake and just hope I outspeed. If he's running any speed investment in the Lantern, though. There goes that. What's Lantern's max speed? Alright, I'm not sure what speed investment he would run. I just got to hope. I really just gotta hope with this one.
What's the wheezing at? I gotta look at that. 67%. If you want to go wheezing on this earthquake, though, I'm definitely going Laudius. No doubt. And then he might send in Lantern. I could calm mind on that. But that Jirachi is Scar. It's pretty easy to tell. I don't think he knows I'm Scarf Raikou, though. Like, yeah, if I weaken this Lantern just a bit more, I can knock out a few months. Alright, he goes wheezing. That's fine. Uh, I don't want to get burned, though. So, I think I have to go Latios. Because I don't really want to set my rocks yet. Or at least not in this moment. I I'm not going to sacrifice a burn just to set rocks. So, I'm going to go Latios here. He wants to double. Good play. Can't believe he predicted speed on my Don. I guess I kind of brought it in pretty obviously. But... Whatever. I'm trying to look at how to do a lot of this, though. See, I might want to I might want to catch the Gligar with an ice punch, but. Uh, Weezing's his primary switch into Lucario right now. So I gotta weaken this Weezing. So let's go Latios. I get taunted. Alright, well... Lantern is probably coming out. And I'd be weakening that thing just a bit more. May as well. May as well just click Dragon Pulse. I'm behind, uh, and I need the damage. My Jirachi sucks, though. The Jirachi is really the only thing stopping my Lucario. Or my Latios, actually. Mainly my Latios. I feel like Psychic Shadow Ball might have been a bit better than Dragon Pulse Shadow Ball. I guess I kind of got caught up with hitting the cure on Black rather than the Weezing. I really didn't expect two Poison types, though. <laughs> that was the last thing I expected. I just feel like I had too much to check it, so... Like, I have two strong... Or, I have a strong defensive steel type in Ferrothorn. Sure, it can get flamethrowered by Weezing. I see Weezing a bit more than Crobat. I guess the Nasty Plot set was a good set, though, so... Because, uh, yeah, like, Heat Wave, Shadow Ball. All right, he goes Jirachi. Are you kidding me? He is just playing me right now. All right, well... I don't want to sack my Raikou. I'm going to Shadow Ball and hope this thing isn't Scarfed. It's not Scarfed. Nice. But Latios goes down. He still has all six of his Mons left, though. That helps me a lot for my Raikou, though. Just a week in the Jirachi. If I'd have gone Shadow Ball, Shadow Ball, that would have been best. That Weezing's a pain in the ass right now, though. I think what I want to do most likely is just set up rocks. If he goes for Alligator, uh, I'm going to go into Raikou, and then he's going to go Lantern, and I'm going to go Donphan. That's going to be the play. That is the play. 
Actually, how much does a banded Lucario do to a Weezing? I want to check that. Lucario against Weezing. Close combat does 31%. I'd have to go for Iron Tail to really do anything. So, uh, I think I'm gonna go Raikou. I feel like at this point, yeah, I have to. Because he won't want to take a T Bolt. I want to go Lantern. So, I'm gonna double into Don Fan. I hope this works out. I feel like I can still do this. It's going to be difficult, but I feel like I still can. I really have to rely on Raikou and Lucario to put in work, though. There's no way he wants to take a T-Bolt. He went for Sludge Bomb. You're kidding me. It's not like I need the Cust app too much, though, anymore. It's all set rocks. Should I click Volt Switch, though? Because that would have done a hell of a lot. Yeah, that would have done 42 to 49%. And no Weezings are especially defensive, let's be real. N oh, the Wisp miss. Oh, that helped. That helped a bunch. Alright. I think I'm going to save that Custat then. It could come in useful. I'm going to go Raikou. I'm going to click Shadow Ball. And I'm going to hope. I really don't see how I beat this Weezing though. I'd have to switch in on rocks, and uh, I'd have to hit with Lucario. Close combat. He sludge bombs. There we go. Raikou's down. There's no way I can win this. Alright, well. I could go for freeze hacks, but I'm going to click Iron Tail. I feel like that's my play. He does have the flamethrower though. Could go for freeze hacks. I'm gonna go for iron tail though. Alright, I could save this Lucario actually. I think I can. Do I think banded E speed will be enough to take out everything? No. But I think I have to try and save this Lucario. Now I can Ice Shard this uh, Weezing. This is the only hope I have. If he Flamethrowers again, I think I'm in Custat range. I don't know, he Willows. Alright, well I think I'll get into Custat range eventually. I need a crit on the ice shard actually. He goes for alligator. Alright, well that thing might want a waterfall. This is a threat. I'm gonna earthquake. He DDs. I'll get good damage off on this thing. That kinda tells me I can click E speed. Alright, Don fans down. Lucario, what are you made of? Actually, can I click Ice Punch? That Jirachi is what worries me. 
Holy crap, I think I can click Ice Punch and just bring this back with Lucario. Okay, my Bandage set... Oh wait, no, I have to click E-Speed. Because this, uh, for Alligators, DD'd. Damn it. It was a thought. It just didn't work out. So I'm going to E-Speed away. Only thing I've got. What's the Gligar at? 61%. I can't do 49 to a Gligar, can I? No. Unless there's no defensive investment. No, I still can't. Maybe the Gligar doesn't have EQ. I doubt that, though. That's the only thing I could think of that could let me win this. And he'd still have something like Stone Edge. No EQ, please. Crit? No. Damn it. Well, GG. I feel like I had a horrible matchup still, but I tried. Uh, definitely brought a lot of stuff I wasn't expecting. But, I feel like I kind of got destroyed there. I, I should have set up hazards a lot earlier. I think that would have helped me out. Because there was a lot of switching going on. I don't know, though. GG, uh, Elias. You played well. I'm really not sure how I could have won that, honestly. I, I, I tried a lot of things. I feel like a lot of those Scald Burns really hurt me, though. Because it kind of put me in the stance where I didn't know what to do. I guess one thing that could have won me the game was going through Shadow Ball on the Weezing switch out into Jirachi where I went for Dragon Pulse. But other than that, I have no clue what could have won me this game. Oh well. GG. Thanks for watching everyone and hopefully we'll have a better week next week. Uh, you have your bad weeks and I just got to bounce back from it. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace.